Okay. Right. I'm just going to show you what a few people have asked me about when they buy an anchor rope and it's got a great big plastic um, thimble on the end of it. That obviously won't go through the anchor buddy. Now, if you just remove that, you've still got quite a big loop of um, rope in there um, and you could put a shackle on or maybe a, sh a smaller size shackle is going to go through there. But the most efficient way is to actually splice the rope direct onto um, the chain. Now it's a little bit different from a conventional um, splice and you you'll note that the rope does not go through like that and come back on itself. That was going to make too big a uh, splice. So what we do is we're going to split the three strands of the rope up. Now I've already cut them um, here so and unwrapped them. So there's well over a hand span of uh, rope that, uh, that's been unwound. Now I'm left-handed, so if you're right-handed, you can just look at this and follow it. And I have got, the, as I'm here, I've got the two top strands coming off the top. And I'm going to feed those through in fact, I think I'll do it on this bigger 10 mil um, chain because it's going to be easier to see. I'm going to feed them, those two top ones, I'm going to feed up through the bottom of that chain. All right. Now, this last one, I'm going to feed the opposite way through that chain link. All right. And it's going to go through that way on it. And I'm just going to pull them up so it's reasonably tight sitting there. Now it looks a little bit odd at this at this stage. Now each one of those for the first uh, part of the splice is going to go back through the one its own piece of rope. So you can see this one here I'm going to go through its own one that it's come through. This bottom one here which is the next one it's going to go through underneath itself and back. Now because we fed the other one uh, from underneath I'm going to go back and come back there it is and I'm going to come back through itself. Now those three that I've done there are the most difficult part of the whole splice and you can see I'm just pulling it up tight so it looks as if there's three there and three there but it's actually not quite that there's two and one. Right now that's the, it's the difficult part the next part of it, which is going to be very simple, and this is a nice soft rope, I'm just going to open that up and feed it the uh, end of it through. I'm going to take the next one, feed it through like that, and take the next one, which goes through that one there, and feed it through. All right, and you can see it's starting to take shape, and I'm pulling it up as I go. Right, I'm going to do the same again. And this is a nice soft rope. If the rope's harder, you need a, um, a, 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 a tapered piece of steel called a fid for putting it through. But this is so soft, this rope, I can easily do it just with my fingers. Right, you can see it's a bit more. I'm going to carry on down here exactly the same. One. There's the next one goes through. Two. See, I'm just twisting it around and around as I go. I'm just going to pull them up nice and tight as I go along. And the, the next part that we're going to come to is to finish it off so it's nice and tapered. Does, I like to make it nice and long, but you can make it shorter if you want to. You can see these little tails are getting shorter and shorter as we go along. And so I'll start finishing this off now so what we'll do is I'll only put one less through there and then this last one here I'm going to feed it through now what you notice now is you've got three of them coming out at all on the same side all right now I'm just going to roll it in my hands which makes it nice and uh, symmetrical then I'm going to, I've got a hot knife, but you can each e easily cut it with a um, pair of scissors and a, um, a match will do the same thing, but a hot knife makes it easier. I have a hot knife because I'm doing thousands of these. Cut that one off. Cut that one off. And 
roll it in our hand, you can see it's come up and it's nicely tapered as it goes along there. Now, let's have a look what happens when we want to put it through the anchor buddy. Right, so I open up the anchor buddy and we can see here that's going off to the boat. This end's going off to the um, anchor. So I will put this little knock-up piece in there. We will close that up. Now, see how it will grip. Doesn't matter where I stop it. It'll grip it on the splice and it'll grip it right up to that 10 mil chain. And you saw effortlessly how that went straight through the uh, chain. Now, it's a little bit more tricky when you go down to um, that size rope because you've not got a lot of um, room in there. But I'll go through it again on the other end of this piece of rope just to show you how it is. I'm cutting it just with a hot knife. Um, it stops all the ends um, unraveling. This is, you know, um, well, this is a polyester rope, but it's just the same if it's a nylon rope. So I'm untangling those ends, and you can see the hot knife has left them reasonably, um, they're not all fraying. All right, so I'm going to unravel a good, good hand span length. There is my top two um, pieces. So I will feed those, and this is a smaller chain, so there's not a lot of room, but it'll still go through there. There's the top through that way, and the last one, I'm going to come back up through the, uh, the bottom side of it. Don't worry about how it's sitting at this point, it'll all pull in um, nice and neat as we do it. Right, now here's that one piece, all right? That's the one that's going through, that's the one piece. I feed it back underneath itself turn over, or it doesn't matter which way we go, here's this one here, so I feed that through that one there, we look over for this side and we think now where is it, here it is there, so we go back up round through itself, so that's the tricky part, each one goes back up through itself, and it'll pull up on itself, as we go. Right, so that's the first part, which is the tricky bit. Now we just start on the rest of it and we work our way around. If you notice that um, you've got two coming out the same, um, between the same lays, you know you've made a mistake. It's no big deal, just pull the thing apart and have another go at it. And I'm, I'm just pulling those up so that it fits nice and tight around the rope. All right, here we go again. Each time, just pull them, just to make them sit nice and neatly. Because once you've got a few in, they're not going to be pulling, able to pull through very easy. The, oh, the whole idea is it so they jam on on themselves. And this this chain here, um, I can't remember whether it's six or seven mil uh, diameter. It's probably the most common size chain that you would have on probably uh, anchors on runabouts up to about twenty feet or six meters. Um, long um, for it and we're getting pretty short there so I'll make this last one here the last one through give it a bit of a rub to even it out you can see they're all sticking out and you can see obviously you got small long got and then the longest because um, each, the short one's gone a lot further up the rope than the the others don't forget this, you can do this just with a pair of scissors and then just get a, um, because it's nylon or polyester, it'll melt, just put a match flame next to it. And there you've got a nice, neat splice onto the rope. And you'll see once again, this one will go through the anchor buddy, feed the rope through there. and get a grip on the rope. 
and you can see as it comes up through there it'll drip on the splice and instead of getting caught on a shackle it's going to go up through there that will grip it and on it, if you've got an anchor or a scallop dredge on it it'll pull that scallop dredge right up to the surface just underneath there and the chain will be hanging down underneath so i hope that that is giving you a better idea of how simple it is to do you can take it into a marine shop and nail splice it but it's going to cost you quite a lot of money and it's something handy little thing to be able to know to um, do yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed that and you've learned something. Thanks very much.